What is up guys and welcome back. So for today we have yet another Mortal Kombat 11 video and for today's video we have yet another accidental tweet from NRS themselves that confirms the Cyrex and Sector. But anyways before we get into any of that, like always be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said let's get right into the video. Alright guys so I don't know what's happening lately but it looks like as of recently people from NRS and even Mortal Kombat 11 themselves are accidentally tweeting something and then deleting it right after. Which in my opinion is awesome because that gives us some insight as to what's to come to MK11. Which is pretty great to know that the game isn't fully dead yet. But anyways enough talking go ahead and check that out. Now as you can see I'm just going to read this first. There's a tweet from Mortal Kombat 11 themselves that says we have a special surprise for you Cyrex and Sector mains. And then someone um, quote tweeted it saying why did this get deleted? Yeah guys so that tweet you see in the middle there from Mortal Kombat themselves got deleted. Now I'm pretty sure it's obvious why it got deleted. They're literally saying we have a special surprise for you Cyrus and Sector mains right? The only surprise we could really get that, that would be considered a special surprise is DLC of Sector and Cyrax which is awesome that is amazing I would like I especially Cyrax I cannot wait to get my hands on Cyrax so obviously I don't know how long this was posted for before they deleted it but they did delete it shortly after and like I said it's obvious why they're literally all but confirming Cyrax and Sector in the game which like I said is awesome and for anyone who, who might be like oh it could just be skins for other characters that I saw that are Cyrax and Sector themed no it's not it's not. First of all, there's already quite a few characters that have. Actually, really just Robocop. He has like Cyrex and Sector looking skins. So yeah, there's no way it's going to be anything like that. Like a skin for them, for other characters. No, it's definitely DLC. And as a matter of fact, if you don't believe me, Ed Boon said in an interview that they were no longer going to do NPCs, which are non-playable characters, that have full movesets. And guess what? Both Sector and Cyrax, as of now, are non-playable characters, NPCs, with a full moveset. So you, you could literally find people who modded MK11 and found a way to play as Sector and Cyrax. So they are fully developed characters, and Edwin said himself that they're no longer going to do that, where they have a fully developed character that they don't give us. So that in itself kind of confirms that Cyrax and Sector are still coming to the game. Which, like I said, for me, is such awesome news, guys. And the fact that that tweet got deleted shortly after all but confirms that they are coming. So, I am super hyped for that. And don't forget, guys, today is the Game Awards, where NRS will be present and is rumored to have some type of reveal. Whether it's the next DLC for Mortal Kombat 11, or their next game reveals, maybe in Justice 3. I don't know, but I will be live streaming it on my channel. I'm not... I'm not going to be live streaming the pre-show, I'm just going to live stream the main game award. So be sure to keep an eye out for that guys. But anyways, that is it for today's news. And for now, let's get to the comments of the day. So first up we have, are you streaming the game awards? Yup, I am. And like I said guys, I will not stream the pre-show, which is, uh, it's just like a little, um, I guess, event where they show stuff before the actual game awards itself. I will not be streaming that, I'm just going to stream the main game awards show. So yeah guys, definitely keep an eye out for that. Next up we have... Who do you think is going to be the main villain in Injustice 3? You know, I would have loved for it to be Darkseid, but since Darkseid is already DLC in Injustice 2, I really don't see that happening. So my second best guess will go to Necron, the Black Lantern. And the reason why is because he's been in a few leaks. If you guys don't know, there have been some Injustice 3 leaks, and Necron is the rumored villain of the game, which would be so awesome. For those of you who aren't really into comics, definitely look up on YouTube. The Blackest Night, full story. That's one of the best comics, uh, the comic series from DC Comics. It's such a good story, guys. I really recommend it to just about anyone. And if that ends up happening in Injustice 3, then damn, are we in for a treat. And lastly, we have a KP3 reveal at the Game Awards would be awesome. Hell yeah, it would. It, any type of reveal, honestly, at the Game Awards would be great. Whether it is some type of DLC for Mortal Kombat 11 or the next game from NRS. Just any type of news would be great in my opinion. So hopefully we do get something. Like I said, I will be live streaming that so definitely keep an eye out for that. But anyway guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to stay subscribed for more videos just like this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed and peace.